Welcome back to On the Road. Today we are in Danster. Danster is a medieval village in near Somerset and uh, it's an amazing little place to go. If you're travelling through, have a look. It's a brilliant route to take from. You can use Exeter up through Tiverton and head up towards the North Devon coast or over Exmoor. It's an amazing place, loads of really old stuff and uh, an amazing castle to have a look at as well. So, uh, excellent really, coffee really stop. It's a really good vibe, yeah, I like this place. Obviously, we're not going to spend time today walking about and sightseeing, but if you up for that, I think it's a great place to stop, maybe even for Airbnb or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully you can have good. a quick look. We'll send the drone over to have a yeah, look Yeah, we're going to show you the castle from the drone, and we are standing by Yarn, Yarn Market. That's how we say it, Yarn. Yeah, so it's, a, it's an old market building built by the owners of the castle in the distance there. Yeah. Um, so they brought the yarns and stuff here, and uh, it was sold from here. Yeah, I read it there that it was built in built in 1600 I think so mm. quite old it's impressive so just a quick coffee stop for us and uh, we'll get up the road and we're going to show you some uh, some nice little places Porlock Weir uh, Porlock Hill which is a bit of a steep challenge over Exmoor towards Linton and Lynmouth let's go then let's get on with it <laughs> Building at the Castle Porlock. Yeah. Just all looks so fairy tale like. Hmm. You are used to it, but me not being English, not growing up in this area, it just all looks so pretty. This is evidence that you can go touring in your own area or your own country and still you'll always see things you've not seen before. That was the village of Porlock and if you follow it through you'll find the signs and we can head down towards Porlock Weir which is a nice little place to sit. We'll show you that quickly. Great little fishing village this is. Have you ever seen anything that looks more English? Monkey farts. Oh. Wanna smell some? Some monkey farts. Yeah. Once you get a monkey, it smells all right. <laughs> it smells bananas. Yeah. 
Well, now we're not a car channel, but I've got to show you guys this. This is an old Morris Minor 1000 soft top. Look at that, looking beautiful sat here. What a picturesque Devonshire scene. You guys have got to come down here when you can. Awesome, what a pretty little village this is. Great little spot, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. So this is just on the edge of Exmoor. This is Porlock Weir. We're now going to take a private toll road that goes up over Porlock Hill and will take us on to Exmoor. And then we're going to follow that along towards the A39, I believe it is, towards Linton and Lindner. So we'll see you there. Let's get back on the bike. As you come out of Porlock, you have two options. You can go left up the hill, up to Porlock Hill, which has a grain of one and four, or you can turn right through the scenic woodland tow road, which is what we're going to do. For motorcycles, it is £1.50 to use the tow road as it's going through a private estate. But it's money well spent and a really nice ride. It's just like mini Alps. There's a little bit, isn't it? Oh, like the Black Forest in Germany. Yeah. That was a great ride. Didn't get a sea view though, did you? No. Shot to the left. Thank you. Thank you. So that was the little toll gate. That's one pound fifty each. You get your little ticket. This is the first ride since forever that I actually took some cash with me. Well done. <laughs> Didn't see this one coming. I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> Just take your time. There's a lot of tight, rough corners along here. It's all right if you're paying attention. What a stunning day to be riding. Exmoor's a fantastic place to be. There's so many nice roads up around here. I've lived in Devon most of my life and it's still you can go out exploring and find little small roads and places you've never been before. And of course it's all new to you Eva. Well I lived in a few places in the UK and in other countries but this is definitely my favourite. Oh, incoming. <laughs> This is exactly what I tell you when you get upset that the weather is not good. <laughs> oh, when the weather's good in the UK, it's fantastic. It's not too hot. I mean, the poor guys in Europe at the minute, they got 45, 50 degrees in some places. Do you remember when we were riding in Sicily in Etna? It's now currently 50 degrees there. Yeah. I'll, tag that I'll tag that video above if you've not seen that one. That was a great trip. We actually yeah. rode over a volcano there. That was the first time we were recording when we were in Italy. In Absolutely. Sicily. We've learned a lot since then. Look at this beautiful old car and that original old AA phone box in the background. Isn't that nice? So this is the A39 going between Porlock and Linton and Lynmouth. Some stunning views along this road.
So this is Linton and all the bikers as you come down the hill we tend to go over here in this car park on the left there's always plenty of parking here and then have a little walk around the town look at that water is that like yeah, we'll a see. waterfall type thing or it's a gorge glen lynn gorge i'm gonna believe this but they just turned the water off why? I don't know. It is 1642. I think Lynmouth is the most famous for the Cliff Railway. Um, my like see was built in 1888, still powered by water. I'm pretty sure it's the oldest one in the country, but a really interesting thing to see. And if you fancy going on it, good luck. Are we going? Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. I'm not very keen on that. I don't like to put, it mess, put myself in those situations, but maybe. So it turns out it's operated only using local river water, and it's the world's highest and steepest water-powered railway. 862 foot of track goes up over 500 foot of elevation. Pretty impressive. Just pop to the library. Get a book. Get a book. See what's in. What's in there? A cat hat and a piece of string. Nice. I stick to my audio books. How long is a piece of string? Twice the length from the middle to the end. A lesson learnt. <laughs> This is from Plymouth. Cool. What's that? Plymouth Ellicott and Son. We're tying the ships to. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, now that ended up there. Story behind that somewhere. Quite cool. Was this the Victorian portrait? Picture yourself in the past. Sepia photographs while you wait. Costumes fit over your own clothes. So you go in there, dress up in Victorian clothes and get an old looking photo, like these in the window, look. Is it open? No, shut. Oh, look no. Look at this in the window. I would love that. That's cool, isn't it? We should definitely come back uh -oh. for that. <laughs> I know it's silly, but... Get a picture of that. A wild west. Hmm. Fantic motor, two hundred trials bike. All right, ready? Ready, let's go. So we're leaving Lynmouth, which is the town at the bottom of the hill. We're going up to Linton at the top. And if you follow that arm a little way more, that takes you to a place called Valley of the Rocks. Lots of steep curves here, though. So this is it, Valley of the Rocks, or this is where it starts. It's only a small area, I think there's a lot of um, a lot of walking and coastal paths around here. We'll stop in the car park and go and have a look. Beautiful. Well, I'm all, I'm all about the riding, not walking, really. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. It's a long, a long walk. Yeah. Some things are worth getting off the bike for. God, I hope you're right. So this area is... Look, behind you, the goats. 
goats on the hill. They don't look very friendly. Do you think it hurts getting hit by a goat? I could be about to find out. I think you're about to find out, yeah. Watch out for the goats. Goat Central. <laughs> There's a lot of them, isn't there? I know. Well, look at these views. You can see the coastal path here just on the right of the road and it follows it all the way around. I imagine there's some uh, pretty cool things to see along that path. So when leaving the Valley of the Rocks, you can come onto here, which is the Lee Abbey Estate. It is another toll road, but again, definitely worth doing. A break from the normal types of road. Just go right in the van, babe, come straight through. Oh, he didn't let go. Look at that down to the right. Quite a way, isn't it? Yeah, you can't see that on camera, but that is a steep drop into the abyss. That looks like a half a mile down. Probably not. Oh, but it is. Look you know, at this. Maybe he just got it wrong. Oh, he's definitely fallen the sat nav, hasn't he? He's messed up. He was so close to that tree that he can't get away with this the whole length of this road, surely. This road only gets worse. <laughs> He's been lucky so far. Well, part of the adventure. Correct, right, you're going to ask. Hmm? He wants us to go? I don't know. I want to know if he's done this on purpose. Did you f*** <laughs> up or are you down here on purpose? I'm down here on purpose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm everyone past because I know I'm going a bit slow. So. Oh, I'm following you for entertainment's sake, mate. <laughs> 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 You, you know how tight this gets down here? Yeah, I'm going to go so far and then walk the rest. I'm going to have to. Customer's house is over here somewhere. Fair play to you, mate. I feel like I'm going to dip out on the entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Adventure in your own backyard, this is. So that tow road brings us back out onto Exmoor and there's a few options from there. To be honest, you can follow the coast road along all the way down through Cornwall and all the rest of it, you know. It's all beautiful along there, but obviously we haven't got time to show you everything in one day. Click subscribe so you can see more of our trips in North Devon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the road again next time.